Recap in minutes. Today we will be going through an action and thriller movie of 2011 named, Assassination Games. There will be spoilers ahead in this video, so chill out and enjoy. The movie starts in the scenes of Bucharest in Romania. The guests are going to a wedding in Samovar Club. Everyone was being security checked before entering the wedding hall. The bride gets up from her seat and thanks her dad for fulfilling her dreams. When they dance to the song, a waiter comes to fill the drink for the bride's dad. He accidentally spills the drink on his dress. He pretends to clean the drink but kills him with a sharp blade under his towel. It was the same man who was searched before coming to Ivan Borisovich and they did not find anything. He rushes to get out of the property through the kitchen. His men follow him all the way out. He kills all of his bodyguards and walks away from there. He goes to his apartment, where he gets inside another hidden apartment behind the front one. He puts his guns and other equipment there. The scene shifted to Interpol Chief Herod, who was having a meeting with two of his officers. He tells them the news of the murder, and orders them to find their hitman Flint. They suspect that he is behind exposing their corruption in the government funds. They say they do not know the whereabouts of Flint, and that there is only one way to draw Flint out if he comes out to kill Polo. They propose to release Polo from the prison to lure Flint. He warns them of severe consequences if they fail. After this, we see Flint in his garden, his housekeeper tells him that there is a foreigner in the town, and goes out. In the next scene, Flint goes to see that foreigner. He finds him in his car and asks him where he came from. Flint knows this man and he threatens him to leave the town immediately. He tells him that Ukraine is setting Polo free this month. He asks Flint to kill him for millions of dollars. He declines and warns him that if he sees him again, he will send him home in the box. The scene shifts to Vincent, who was sitting in his contractor's office. He pays him for killing Ivan Borisovich in diamonds. He offers him another job to kill Polo. He takes this assignment and goes out. He goes back to his flat. He meets a new couple there. He observes that the man was abusing his girl October. Her man comes to him and says that he is going to purchase the whole floor. He doubted his intention and went inside. After some time, Flint was sleeping on the couch beside his wife. He saw a nightmare of Polo's torture on his wife. He wakes up and calls the same man, Kali, whom he met in the car. He tells him that he wants to do the job, he wants to kill Polo because of his torture that put his wife in the state of coma. Polo raped and tortured his wife in front of him. He refuses, saying that the job is taken by someone else. He requests his help to find Polo, before he comes there looking for him and his wife Anna. He tells him that he wants to finish him and hit him first. He assures him that he will not take any money for this kill. Cully asks him to give him some time to give him the latest intel. The next day he meets Flint and tells him that Polo is coming to the municipal courthouse tomorrow. He gives him the details that Polo will be there to attend the hearing of the case of his brother, and take him out after the bail. Flint wants to know his source, but he assures him that the intel is solid so he does not need to worry at all. Cully informs him that the officers from Interpol may come there. He requests him again that he should not do this job. But Flint ignores him. The next day, Flint fixes his sniper gear in the front building of the courthouse. He waits for Polo and his brother to come out of the court. He adjusts his gun in the position of the shot. After a little while, Polo and his men come out of the courthouse. At the same moment, Vincent comes in his rented van with his arrow gun in his hand. When Flint fires at him, Vincent's van comes in front of his shot. Flint and Vincent aim at Polo but both of them miss the target. Vincent accidentally shoots Polo's brother Donzo. The bodyguards and policemen fire at his van but he runs away. At the same time, Flint desperately comes down the street from the building and aims at Polo to shoot. But the officers from Interpol fired at him first. The Romanian police turn back at the Interpol guys, but they instantly run away in their car. In the next scene, Polo was swearing revenge for the killing of his brother watching the arrow. His gang men advise him to hide somewhere, but he says he has to find his brother's murderer first. The scene shifts to Vincent, where he was trying to be calm after the failed attempt on Polo. He hears the voices of October. He comes out and sees that his contractor was beating her. He asks him to stop the noise and violence. When he does not stop, he beats him and asks him to leave the hallway immediately. After that October gets up and tries to open the door but it was locked. Vincent lets her in and warns her to not move around in his apartment. He gets a call from his contractor, who tells him about the location of Polo. Vincent comes out from his hidden apartment and asks October to leave. But she begs him to let her stay for a night. He hesitates but allows her to stay for one night and leaves. The scene shifts to Flint, he was fighting the guards of a dockyard. When he gets in, he faces Vincent there. Both of them fight and try to kill each other. Vincent blames Flint and he blames him for blocking his shots on Polo. Flint asks him to lower his guns. 
He tells him that it will be best for us to get him if we work together. He says that he will not take any money. Vincent asks him why he is doing it for free. He replies that he has a history of disputes with Polo, so he is here to take revenge on him. He tells him that he knows who will help them to find him. They go to his gun maker and ask him where he is. He tells him that he is staying at the Royal Grand Hotel. After this Vincent immediately shoots him from behind. Flint gets angry and tells him that he wanted the man alive, to lure Polo into his trap. Vincent blames him for this misunderstanding. They take his automatic machine gun to make his murder look like a break-in. At the Royal Grand Hotel, Polo receives a snap of Vincent from the security camera. He orders his man to find him. Vincent comes into his apartment and finds October sleeping inside his hidden apartment. He wakes her up and asks her how she got into this area of the apartment. She tells him that he left the door open last night. The scene shifts to Flint at the office of Interpol Chief Herod. He asks him that why he sent his officers behind him at the courthouse. He warns him to get his men away from his tail, otherwise he will kill him and his wife. The next morning, Herod meets them again and promises them to give anything they want, like weapons, resources, or money to kill Flint. He orders them to kill him in the next 48 hours and leaves. In the next scene, Polo goes to Vincent's contractor Nelbandian. He threatens to give him his man Vincent. When he ignores him, his men pull the guns out, he calls his men out at that moment. Seeing this, Polo throws the picture of Vincent on Nelbandian's table, and asks him the price to hand him over to him. The next moment, Nelbandian goes to Vincent's street. Vincent gets into his car and asks him what took him there. He tells him that he came there to give him the good news about his target. He offers him double his usual fee. He tells him to take his new friend Flint to a specific place at a specific time. When Vincent agrees, he tells him to take him to City's Hall at 9 the next day. He pays him one third of the money in advance and leaves. After some time, Vincent's neighbor, who supplies the girls in the town, meets Polo. He tells him that he knows him and he gives him the address. The scene shifts and Vincent and Flint go to the City Hall. Flint inspects the whole building and waits for Polo. When he arrives, he aims at him but his men capture him. He looks at Vincent in a very aggressive way. Flint comes across Polo who tells him that he will meet his wife again. They depart afterward. The next moment. Vincent comes to his contractor's office to collect his money. He gets a phone call there. Polo was on the phone saying that he had found him. He tells him to come and get his girlfriend. But he says he is not the prisoner of anything. He hangs up the call and breaks his partnership with him saying that, he played behind him. In the next moment, Agent Godfrey was warning Flint of severe torture on him if he will not give him Interpol's money. But he was refusing him continuously. While on the other scene, Vincent goes to his apartment and sees everything broken. October was slaughtered and his diamonds were also stolen by Polo. He goes straight back to his contractor Nelbandian and asks him the location of Flint. He gives his money back to him telling him his location. After some time he tells him that they have taken him to Polo's cousin's factory. In the next scene, they were all torturing Flint. Agent Godfrey was questioning him again. When he orders Gabor to kill him, he falls down with knives on his back. They get alert and look around to see the killer. Vincent appears from behind the bars on the roof. He kills them. Flint asks him why he set him up, and he said it was his mistake that's why he came back. He lifts him and takes him into the car. On their way, Flint makes a call to his home, and asks his housekeeper Mrs. Pavlescu to take his wife Anna out of the house. His line drops in the middle of the call and gets worried about that. He asks Vincent to turn around his car. When Mrs. Pavlescu was trying to recall him, Polo arrived there with some of his men. He shoots her there. Vincent and Flint reach his home in the morning. They see the men guarding Polo outside of his house. They try to think of a plan to draw all of them out. At this moment, Flint receives a call on his mobile. It's Polo on the phone, who was asking him to turn his webcam on. When he turns it on, he warns him of the death of his wife if they do not surrender in 15 minutes. They surrender. They search them and take Flint's mobile, and Vincent's sack of diamonds out. After that, they take them inside the home. Vincent tells him that he is more than 10 million. If he lets him go, he will give him that money. He asks one of his men to show his sack of diamonds to him. When he sees that, he starts listening to him. After this Flint and Vincent argue with each other. Vincent flips him over the table. He grabs the mobile in the blink of an eye. It was actually the laser of the machine gun. He turns it on and points at them. The gun opens fire on them from the back of the window. It kills all of them except Polo. Flint grasps Polo holding a knife in his other hand. He yells at him to ask for forgiveness from his wife. He does that. He kills him eventually, telling him that she can't hear him anymore. The movie ends when Vincent kills October's contractor, 
and Flint kills the corrupt chief of the Interpol Mr. Herod. Vincent goes to the church and lights a candle for October while remembering her. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this and to help the channel grow.